Hi, my name is Sam Cates, the founder of Tiny Tenkara. Just like to thank you for your purchase, and this is just going to be a quick little video on how to set up your rod. All right, guys. So I'm just going to start off by just going over the parts of the rod, and then we'll jump right into how to set it up. So when you get the rod, it's going to come with a plastic sleeve on the cork here. We'll have a rod cap that fits in the top here. When you take that rod cap off, you're going to see this little piece of thread here. This is called the Lillian. This is what we're going to attach all our line to. On the bottom here, you have a removable uh, butt plate, and this you can take out. And if you ever uh, need to clean the rod or anything like that, all the sections will come out the bottom with a handle like that, and that's what the, that's there for. And if you guys decide to order our accessory pack, it's just going to come with some 6x tippet, uh, a foam line holder. It goes on like that, and then this is going to be some 0x level line. Okay, so when you guys are going to set up your rod, first thing you got to do is take this, the Lillian, and just put a simple um, overhand knot in it. Just like the knot you use to start when you're tying your shoes. And that's going to enable us to connect all the other uh, line to this without it slipping off the end of our rod. So just like that. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like on a bigger piece of rope real quick. And so all that knot was, was just, I took this and like that. It's just the simplest knot you can do. And that's the first thing you're going to do to um, set up your rod. So this red line here is I'm just going to use to represent the um, pink level line, which is because um, of clothes, pink and red are as close as I can find in the house. And so, to, so when you're setting up your rod, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your level line and it's gonna be taped up here so you can easily find the start um, of the line. And you just pull that off and the, the distance for how much you want on this is gonna be about six inches um, longer than the rod itself. So the, I know the, the rod fully extended is gonna be um, a meter and a half, which is just about uh, my arm's length like that. So I can just measure it out doing like this. But if you wanna fully extend the rod and take it out, you can. This doesn't need to be precise. Um, it could be a little bit longer than the rod, shorter than the rod, um, really doesn't matter. Uh, but just somewhere around the length of the rod. Um, so we'll cut that. And then that's going to be the amount of level line you guys are going to use. And then you just reattach this line. They put a nice little um, notch in here, so then the line will fit right back in there and it stays in place like that. So, put that away, because so we're done with that. And now that we've got this, I'm just going to show you the first knot we're going to do, uh, which is just a simple loop. So you're going to take your rope like that, and then you're just going to make a loop just like that. And you'll get that loop. I'll do that one more time real quick. So take your rope, do a U-turn, and then just tie it off like that. Okay, there's their first knot. So we'll do that in here real quick. There's our loop like that, and then we've got this extra stuff sticking off, which is just called the tag. I'm just gonna trim that off, um, just like that. Okay, so the next part is once you have your loop, just send the uh, back half of that line through like this. You get another loop, just like that, and you're gonna send that over the Lillian and pull it tight. So that's just gonna go, so we'll take this one, send, a little bit through like that. Just place that over and pull it tight. When you do that, see how it's gonna rest up against that original knot we tied, so it's not gonna come off. And then um, you're gonna do the exact same loop, just at the bottom half of the line. So I'll do that. You guys know what that knot looks like, because we, we just did it. So, so now we've got a loop at the top, loop at the bottom, and that's gonna be the level line part of this. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, 6x tippet, which is included in the accessory pack. Um, again, find the little piece of tape, and that's where the start of it's going to be. And then just pull off, and then this takes um, a little bit of measurement. So uh, a lot of the casting you guys are going to be doing with this rod, if you're fishing small creeks, is going to be the bone arrow cast, which is where you uh, pull back on it like that. And so it's just however long your arm span is. Um, so it's the level line plus the tippet. You still got to be able to pull uh, that fly back. So however long that is for you, and for me that's just going to be a few feet. Um, and that gives me the perfect amount of tippet. Um, so it really just depends on you guys' arm length. So you can try it out. 
um, cut different lengths or trim length off once you put it on. Um, and that's the best way to do this. And then you can just tape this line back on. Now we're done with that. So uh, we're just gonna do the same loop that we did here and here one more time. So now we've got a loop at the tippet and a loop at the end of the level line. And so I'm just gonna show you this next connection using um, these uh, the big pieces of ropes just so you can guys see it easier. So this white rope is gonna represent the tippet and like I said, the red rope is going to represent the pink uh, level line. So the way, this is just going to be a loop to loop connection for this one. Um, so the way you can do this is you just send one through like that, completely through. And then you take the end of that line of the tippet and just send it through its own loop like that. And just pull it all the way through. And then you gotta sometimes maneuver it around because these knots don't want to slip around. And just keep cinching, keep cinching and pulling. And eventually, it'll look something like that. This tag will be trimmed off and you've got a loop-to-loop -loop connection and that's, that's not going anywhere and it's pretty simple. Um, also, if you guys want to change out your tippet ever, like if it gets too short, it's real easy to take off and put stuff back on. That's why I use that one. So, I'm gonna take, right, our tippet. Send it through. So now that's on there like that. Grab the end of the tippet and send it through its own loop, just like that. And just pull it straight. Now, the final thing we gotta do is just tie um, a fly onto this. And there's tons of videos online about how to tie um, flies on a tippet. Uh, just put you Quickly show you guys how to do that. I'll do it in the in the on a big rope real quick, and then do it again on the real thing. So this is just going to represent the uh, eye hole that's on the fly. Every fly has an eye hole that you send the tip through, and I'm just going to use this to represent that. And here we've got our tippet. So you take the end of the tippet and send it through the eye hole of the fly, just like that, and then. You wrap it around whatever your lucky number is that I say that's less than 10 because you don't want to do like, you know, 23 times or something like that. So for me, it's seven. So, you know, you wrap, wrap just it around like seven times like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to send it through this loop at the bottom here like that. And once you've sent it through, you've got this other loop and then you're going to send it right back like that. And then you can lick it just so it's all lubricated and you'll cinch it up. And then that's how you tie that bad boy on. So on here, this might be a little hard to see, but I'm just gonna take your tippet, you're gonna send it through that eye hole, just like that. And then you're just gonna wrap it around itself however many times uh, you want. For me, that's gonna be seven. six, seven, and then you're gonna take it, send it through that loop at the bottom, and then again, send it through the loop you just created, grab it, and then what I'm gonna do now is just lick it real quick, so, cause when that, um, when you cinch this knot up together, uh, that tippet, when it heats up, it gets brittle and it loses its elasticity. So if you lick it, it just keeps it from heating up when you cinch it down. And then again, just take this little bit, cut it off, and that's your setup. And so now, if you get a line holder, what you can do is, what I like to do with these line holders actually, the first thing is just cut a bunch of notches just with a knife. They don't have to be deep, just all around the edge. And then once you cut those notches all the way around, you can just take your fly. So just stick it anywhere on the thing, and then you put that line through those notches just so it holds it there. Wrap it around. Yeah, so once you get it down, just about right there, then you just stick it up in one of those notches that you cut, send it through, and you'll just 
push it onto the handle like that, and now it's you're all set up, and then you can just extend it and um, go fishing. So that's just the quick line setup. All right, guys, that's how you set up your rod. Thanks for watching. Next, I'm just gonna briefly go over what I carry with me when I go fishing. So of course, we've got the tiny 10 with its line holder and lines and all that stuff. Next is gonna be this Yona Packs. And this is a nice, sweet little pack. I'm actually doing a collaboration with this company. Those Look out for those bags on our website uh, by the end of February. This is a nice little pack, carries everything I need. This front pocket, it's got some tippet because that's always breaking on me out in the woods. Gotta replace that, so carry that with me. Next, I've just got a knife here. Um, I use this if my line gets really tangled up or something like that, you can cut the line. And um, also, I recommend carrying tweezers or um, forceps. That way, um, if a, when the fish swallows the fly and it gets way back in its throat, you can reach in there, um, pull that fly out, and let the fish go pretty easily. Next, all I do is got some shape floating here. This stuff is great for uh, dry flies and yeah, floating is a necessary thing for when you're fly fishing, so I bring that with me. Next, nice little fly box, got, I don't know, 20 flies in here, that's all I have everything I need. Um, and then finally, I've just got an extra line holder with uh, a complete line set up on there. Um, and I stick that in there. And those are really the things I need when I go fishing. All fits in this sweet little pack. Um, and that's that. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Good luck fishing, and I'll see you next time.